Hello and welcome back to Economics of Elite. Now I'm going to discuss the demand curve. If you did economics at school, this might be a little bit boring, but it's very important to understand this. All right, firstly, demand. Uh, in this example, I'm going to use pizza because I absolutely love pizza and we are going to look, look at the demand for pizza. Now, very, very important to remember is that demand is only willing and able people. So first up, you have to be willing to buy the pizza and second up, you have to be able to buy the pizza. So we are excluding everybody who wants a pizza but doesn't have enough money. Okay, they don't fall part of the demand curve because they can't afford it. We're also not including the people who have enough money for pizza but who do not want to buy it because they're on a diet. Okay, so demand is when you're willing to buy something and you're able to buy something. To plot this graph, I'm going to start with our horizontal axis over here. With supply and demand, this is always a Q at the bottom. Q is for the amount of, or the quantity, Q for quantity is the amount of people. So here we go, there's all our people. Okay, let's say over here we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, etc, etc, etc. All right, this is the amount of people who might be interested in buying a pizza, depending on the price. Over here, we have the price. P, P for price. So here at the bottom, we always have Q. On the left-hand side over there, we always have price. Now, let's uh, add some numbers in. Let's say the pizza can vary anywhere from 20 rand, 40, 60, 80, 100... 120, 140, 160, 180. Okay, the idea is that the intervals must be the same size, but I'm not going to be too specific. All right, let's say pizza is 20 rand. Who wants pizza? Me, 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 me. Everybody. Everybody wants pizza for 20 rand. There we go. At 20 rand, sorry, 20 rand, we draw the line. All the way through, I think more than 100, more than 200, I think about over there somewhere, loads of people want pizza. Okay. At 80 Rand, let's say about 300 people. As the pizza gets more and more and more expensive, as we move up on this side, less and less and less people will want to buy the pizza. So at 180, let's say there's only 100 people interested in buying the pizza. Now you can see my dots over there. As soon as we connect them, we have a curve, and that is our demand curve, D for demand. Demand curve. And that's all there is to it. So let's run over it again. So the price goes from zero, here at the bottom, all the way up. The higher the price, the less people who are interested. As the price goes down, more and more and more people become interested. This is why our line slopes like this. Fantastic. That's the demand curve.